Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. Have you seen my demos? It's going to be repeat, but I do have new consultants that um, we have just met. Oh, and like, Kristen Hunter. You know, like, Emily Hunter. Like, Emily Hunter. I touched you. I touched you. You're real. Ready, Bethany? Yep. All right. So let's do this. Um, all right, we're gonna do a 10 minute under wonder parties. Um, this is what I'm known for. I created this when my oldest son, who is going to be 22 soon, was doing travel ball. So when he was in travel ball, we were probably eating a car payment every weekend. And after that, I was like, no, like I'm eating my retirement. So if you guys, anyone have kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Anyone mm -hmm. ever put their kids in travel sports, competitive travel sports? Yeah, you're you're broke, right? Yeah, okay, so I'm not that kind of <laughs> Let me help you guys help yourself and help your family. You can cook dinner faster than you can go to a drive thru all right? And it could be healthy. Today we're gonna splurge with a little sweet on the side. We're gonna do a molten lava brownie. Wait for it. Mm -hmm. Guess how long it's gonna take? Right. Eight minutes. Five minutes. Ten Four. minutes. Six. Ten minutes. Nine. Six. For a molten lava brownie, okay? And then we're gonna do um, some grilled chicken, fresh grilled chicken. Nothing about processed foods, not in my kitchen. And then we're gonna do some homemade mashed potatoes, all right? Simple. So the chicken's gonna take about six minutes. Y'all heard that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the um, potatoes are gonna take about six to eight minutes. So I'm gonna show you some amazing power tools to take back into your kitchen. So today we're gonna to go ahead and get started with just um, some potatoes. We're gonna use red potatoes. I like to keep the skin on because nutrition is everything in my family. And it's less to do, right? Like who wants a whole sink full of dirty dishes? Okay. So um, red potatoes today is the potato of choice. If you wanted to, you can actually change out your starchy potatoes and more complex carbs. And use um, sweet potatoes. Anyone like sweet potatoes? Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah? Super healthy, okay? Um, anyone have knives? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, everyone has a yeah. knife, right? <laughs> okay, so today, if you notice the knife I'm using, I am using it a certain way. This is our Santoku knife, and with our Santoku knife, what I am not doing is I'm not rocking, okay? This right here, it's gonna cut through your food like butter in a straight motion. I'm weird, I'm OCD, so you'll see me do things in front of you that you're like, is she, is she okay? Like, I have to have a pattern. I don't know, don't judge. <laughs> All right, so look at this. How many people have knives where you have to poke and then slice, and mm -hmm. then you're sawing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should saw in the garage. Don't saw in your kitchen. <laughs> your knife should cut through your food like butter. The sharper the knife, the safer it is. Look at that. Look how fast and easy that's coming off the plate as well. Any hunters in here? Or anyone that has significant others that hunt? Huntress. Mm -hmm. Huntress? Yes, Huntress. You go, girl. Okay, so um, hunting knives all have this groove in the blade. Who knows what that's for? Keep vegetables from sticking. Well, if you hunt vegetables, <laughs> I do. I'm like, I'm hoping they grow so I could hunt them. <laughs> no, so, uh, but no, yeah, it'll, the groove will keep the vegetables from sticking, but also your proteins. Y'all know what I mean by proteins, right? Meat. Yeah, so your meat. The good stuff. The good stuff. I love me some protein from meat. But yeah, that's what that's for. So that will put that air pocket between the food and the blade so it easily release. Anyone ever cut a block of cheese? Mm -hmm. Okay. What happens when you cut the cheese? There uh. <laughs> <laughs> you go. Well, when you cut that block of cheese, where is that knife? It's stuck stuck to the right? cheese. So imagine, imagine redoing that with a great knife. Here's something that's really cool. Is This is sheet metal. We're going to use it, and you're going to see how sharp that is as well but this is German force knife. Because I'm done using it, I'll pass it around. Okay, be gentle. All right, you're gonna see how the blade is full tank. It goes from the tip reinforced to the back of the handle, and they're all evenly weighted. German forged steel, um, if you use them every single day, multiple times a day, like who uses the same knife all day long multiple times a day? All right, um, not many people. But if you did use it every single day, multiple times a day, they recommend that you sharpen it every one to two years. Oh, that's not 
I see. Our last set of Pampers Chef knives, um, I think we're like 10 or 11 years old, and I never sharpened one of them. Mm -hmm. Now they yep. came out with those, and those rated against Hinkles and Wushtoff. Guess what? Beat them. Those are $1,000 knives. Ours are a fraction of the price. Imagine getting them for $16 a piece when you host a show. Lifetime warranty. Never buy a knife again. What? Yeah. Okay? So that's just a small one, and it is one of my favorites. It's my daughter's favorite one. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this going. In here is our potatoes. So red potatoes, a little water. Guess what this is gonna go into, you guys? Cooker. Oh, you guys are so small. Okay, <laughs> you wanna put that in the quick cooker? Oh, yes, I do. And I will bring that quick cooker over when we're done, so we'll talk about that a little later, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. Yep, go ahead and put that lid on. He sings to me, right? Like all my power tools are he. Like guys, don't they call all their tools girls? <laughs> He's my tool. <laughs> all right. So we're gonna set it up. I doubled the recipe. So how about we make homemade mashed potatoes in eight minutes instead? Huh? Yeah, yeah, eight minutes. Minutes. So custom? Feel custom? I'm looking, I'm looking. Here I got Take their skillet 
or their chicken in their skillet and they move all the outside pieces to the inside, the inside to the outside, like you're doing this lovely dance and you're doing laundry and you're breaking the kids up from fighting and like 30 minutes goes by and you're like, I think my chicken's done, right? <laughs> no, yeah, it's overdone. And then you're cutting this off so you're really drying it out. So all that fat right there, you have to leave on you guys. Anyone a steak eater? Who eats steak? Mm -hmm. Yes? You know the most flavor, flavorful cuts of, of your meat are um, ribeye and T-bone? You guys know why? The fat. The fat. Yeah, and the bone. So why would you do that to that? Okay, don't cut that off. And I'm, I live in the South. Pretty soon I'm going to say I'm from the South. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I do live in the South. And one thing I noticed when I moved to the South is they love their butter. Like, <laughs> right? Yes. Butter is everything. Butter is life. I remember seeing my husband cook corn for the first time and he put a whole stick of butter in there. And I was like, oh my God, I can't throw a potato in there like a can with salt. Like, what did you just do? So um, that's nature's butter. This will melt off and flavor your food. So it'll mm. absorb back in so it's not so dry. Okay? Look, look at all that. All right, so other things that you could do. You see how easy this is? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just, like, going at it. That's what I do. I'll get packages of chicken, and I'll just meal prep. I don't like to spend more than two hours a week in the kitchen. So I spend two hours a week prepping. So all my food is prepped, and all I have to do is either throw it in a pot, throw it in the oven. Like, it's done. Okay? So, and just so you know, that last piece was kind of frozen. But you can take... Pork chops. Anyone ever see center cut, uh, no, what is it, pork loins? Mm -hmm. yeah. Your stores ever go down for like 99 cents mm -hmm. a pound? Yeah, when they go on sale and they're like, ooh, that's really awesome. And they're like huge, massive pieces of pork, center cut pork chops or center cut pork loins. You take those. I like to cut them in half and the halves and halves just because I'm OCD. And I'll throw them in here and I'll cut those halves in half, right? Guess what I just made? Pork told you horses. earlier, pork chops. Right? Instead of spending what, three sixty nine a pound? I am a numbers person if you haven't realized. Like I know how much food costs. <laughs> so instead of spending three dollars and sixty nine cents a pound for pork chops, you just made them for how much? Nine cents. Yeah. Yes. Right? I know. It's exciting, saving money and saving time. Um, grapes. Imagine anyone to have little kids mm -hmm. and you're just like, Oh, let me cut that for you, right? Because you don't want them to what? Choke. Okay, grown-ups choke too. So you, you cut them all into little pieces. You can do the same thing. Load this bad boy up with some grapes. Load it up with some um, grape tomatoes, some olives. What else? Anything round? Hot Eggs? dogs. What? Hot dogs. Oh, girl. I never thought about doing hot dogs. Mm -hmm. I guess you could. Yeah. So throw it in there. Cut it one time. Guess what? All the pieces are in half. You just saved what? Time. Uh, all right. You guys ever buy um, stuff in the can, like olives in the can that are sliced for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get less for what? For more. <laughs> less for more. That's crazy. Same thing with your meat. So let's get more for less. less. All right. Well, let me go ahead and put this over there. I'm going to wash my hands again. That's what I do. I'm going to bring it over my other power tool, okay? Ta-da! This bad boy is my double burner grill pan and press set. All right. This is going to save your life in so many ways. I will use it probably a oh, minimum of two, three times a week. All right, along with my other power tools, my big time meal prepper. So imagine if you wanted to take all of your chicken that we just did, right? You could throw eight pieces on there. But you know what the trick is to this? These, also known as my home security system. <laughs> all right, pass that around. Check out how heavy they are if you don't have one already. That is going to be cast iron. Cast iron can be used indoors or outdoors. All right, so if you are a griller, anyone like to grill? I'm the girl of the grill. My husband's on, I touch my grill. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So um, I do grill at home. That goes on the grill as well. Imagine if you're going
going out to eat, right? You go out to eat, and you're like, oh, let's have a grilled pasta or a grilled chicken or whatever, and it comes out super fast. Anything that you get at the restaurant is going to come out faster. So I'm going to give you restaurant-style cooking tips for you to take back home. One, presses. These presses should always be hot. So the tip is for me to take these. Obviously, I would take that, but I want you guys to fill the pan down. One press is heavier than the entire pan, mm -hmm. right? We're gonna preheat wow. the whole set together for at least five minutes on medium high. Get these piping hot. As soon as your food touches it, guess what? These go right on and it's starting to cook. When you cut your chicken breast in half like that, you are going to cook them three minutes on one side and three minutes on the other. Okay, pork chops, three to four minutes per side. Steak, about two and a half minutes per side if you want medium rare. Each level of done is at 30 extra seconds. Um, you could do your grilled pizzas. What else do you guys like that that's grilled? Vegetables. Vegetables. Vegetables? Yeah. Pineapple. Oh, Bridges. yes, pineapple, and grill your pound cake on it too? Yeah. Yes, mm, throw me. on some homemade ice cream, party at your house. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but your grilled pineapple, yeah, all your desserts. Somebody said something else. Peaches. Romaine, mm -hmm. yeah. Have you ever had those grilled salads? Those are getting popular. Peaches. Fish. Fish. Okay. Paninis. Who's been to that little panini takeout place? I had a Cuban <laughs> paninis today for lunch. Yeah. yeah. And you could have fed your entire family, right? Paninis for under $10 mm -hmm. with the right tools. So this is where I say, with the amount of money that is spent on takeout. So who, who goes to takeout? Just be honest, right? We're busy. So you, the average American family of four goes to take out three times a week, spending the average of $25 to $30 a pop, times that by four. Minimum is $360 a month on takeout. I budget my family on $350 to $400 a month on groceries, and we do not eat out but maybe once per month. And we eat healthy and we eat a lot because we do own powerhouse training complex and powerhouse combine, so we train athletes, we're always training, 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 right? And food fuels the body. You have to eat right. But meal prepping saves time. It also keeps you from going to the store for extra things that you do not need. This is gonna save you time, okay? It's gonna save you money because once you see how it's gonna cook your food in an average of six to 10 minutes, you don't have to go to takeout. You just have to plan your meals. Okay, so just imagine how that's gonna work for you. I'm a bacon lover too, and I just have to throw it out there. I love me some bacon. Yes, anyone else? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to dip my bacon in chocolate. That's a whole different champagne brunch party. Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna take this and we're gonna preheat it. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. So that cookware piece, it'll come up. That cookware piece, is part of our new line of cookware. Who has non-stick cookware at home? Number one sold cookware in the world, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it goes stainless steel. Um, that cookware right there will go on the stovetop, gas, electric, it'll go in the oven, it will go um, in the dishwasher. I know that gets me so excited. Who loves DWS on, a, on anything, right? Mm -hmm. I love that acronym. DWS, yes, I can go by that. So, non-stick cookware should never go in the dishwasher, but when you're a pampered chef cooker, right, it goes in the dishwasher. So, that will go, what happened? Yes. Okay. So, that goes, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that will go right in the dishwasher. What else are you not supposed to do with non-stick cookware? Use metal. You're not supposed to use metal? But guess what? Ours are metal safe. Crazy, right? So there's so many options that this does, exclusive to Pampered Chef, not Teflon. Did you guys know that Teflon causes cancer in Alzheimer's? Anyone have cancer in their family? Yep. I've had family die from cancer, yes. Anyone have Alzheimer's, dementia? My family too. Do you think I want to add that back into my family? Absolutely not. Who's ever bought cookware and you bought it black and it was non-stick, then it turned gray, then it turned auburn, and then now you can see the bare metal Yes. Anyone ever do eggs and you have that paper layer going? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, right? Okay, I'm gonna tell you 
if you're ever scrambling something in your nonstick cooker that is going through those phases of life, and you're thinking, did I put pepper in there? Y'all, <laughs> don't call that cayenne pepper and don't call that pepper. You know what that is, so don't eat it. <laughs> yeah. So that's one thing that you want to think of. So instead of spending $360 a month on groceries for quick, fast food, let me teach you how to use our tools quickly and super fast, and you can get that bad boy for free if you join my team as well this month. Who wouldn't want to do that and start reinvesting in your family? It's amazing. And if you don't want it for free, get it for a fraction of the price because it is 60% off. Like if I give you a 60% off coupon to Dillard's, would you not want to go and use it? Mm -hmm. So let me help you use that coupon, all right? All right, so we're gonna let that free heat. Then we're gonna come out with another power tool. This is part of our rock crop collection. Thank you so much. So our rock crops, these are exclusive to Pamper Chef. It took them five years to develop the technology to make this. Any stoners in here? I mean, like Pamper Chef stoners, don't tell me your secrets. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, okay. So you guys have stoneware. What, what's the special thing about stoneware? Has its own mm -hmm. mistakes after a while. Yeah, it does. Everything kind of cooks faster, more evenly, right? So imagine if our cookware and our stoneware got it on and had a baby, right? Mm -hmm. That's the rock crock. So this rock crock can go in the microwave. Yeah, you heard me. Okay. It can go in the microwave, it can go on the stove top, gas, electric, it goes under the broiler. Definitely the stonework doesn't, because it also does it on the stove top, right? Um, it goes in the oven, obviously. It goes on the grill outside, and you guys already heard, I'm the girl of the grill, right? It'll go on the grill outside. It'll go, guess where else? Dishwasher. Dishwasher, DWS, you'll see that in the catalog. Um, so dishwasher safe. Then, it's metal safe as well, but yet it can be nonstick. So any stainless steel users, anyone have stainless steel? You know how you can only braise your meats and or sear your meats with stainless steel because of the way it reacts? You can do that with this as well. So it can act nonstick or it can act stainless steel. Depends on if you preheat, you don't preheat however you want to use it, okay? Lots of information on my website, so get over there and check it out. And then you'll see why it's exclusive. But wait, it gets better because it comes with an option to get a slow cooker stand. So did you hear all the things I said it could do earlier? Mm -hmm. Now it's a slow cooker? That's crazy, right? And that slow cooker stand, who has a crock pot? Who has more than one crock pot? Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> so those crock pots can be heavy, all right? With instead our crock pot base, because I'm weird, I measured it or I weighed it, is around two pounds, two pounds you guys so guess what this chick does remember I said I my kids in travel ball we travel in and out of state and do you think I eat out when we're on a, a baseball tournament mm -mm. Mm -mm. if you follow me on my Nikki Scooty groupie page or on my Facebook page you will see me cooking in the hotels or in our camper because just because we're out of town doesn't mean we eat out okay we stay on budget so he can do the things that he wants to do that he earns and gets to do and we can provide that for him all right, so watch this. I'm actually, it's brownie mix. Just water and oil in here. And you know, brownie mix, you don't have to use a whisk. I honestly um, take this and I break up the clumps, okay? So I kind of pre-whisk it. That's been with me for 17 years, my original. You know what, feel my whisk, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a little item, but let me tell you, I grew up with a whisk that the handle would like start to come off, and guess what's under that handle? Ew. Rust. Rust. Because we've all had one, right? <laughs> yes. All right. I'm going to crack some eggs. Everyone knows how to crack eggs, right? Mm. My baby girl was 18 months when she started learning how to crack eggs. Sit her on the counter, she's been cracking her own eggs. So I can show her how to crack eggs, I can show you. And yes, I'm going to show you how to crack eggs from here on out. Because most people crack them on the side of the bowl, yes? Side of the counter? Yeah? <laughs> All right, who goes fishing for shells? You're like, whoopsie. Right? And it's like a high speed chase. It's like running away from your finger. Mm. All right, crack them on a hard flat surface. They give it a flat indent. I learned this from a pastry chef. And one thing you'll learn from me 
is that I am nowhere clear close to a pastry chef. If you follow me on one of my pages, you'll see that I hashtag I cook, I don't bake. All right? I never even used an oven until I started Pamper Chef 17 years ago. When I had to start using our stoneware and using the oven, I had to clear out all my knives and my Tupperware and my extra pots and pans out of my oven <laughs> because in our culture, it was an extra cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Anyway, if you were to get a shell in here, the pastry chef had uh, shown us, San Luis Obispo, California, right? Mm. That you dip the other side of the eggshell and it's nature's magnet, magnet, and it zoops right there. Mm. Oh, that's not freaking Interesting. Fabulous. Right? Hello, and my 18 month old, now who's six, can crack eggs, you can too. And there you go. So what happens is it just keeps the shell adhered to the membrane. Food magic, good food tip. science. All right, smashing my eggs. I always smash my eggs because when you're around food, you make mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. Who's made mistakes? Mm -hmm. okay. I've been there, done that. I have whipped around an entire egg, go to cut something or scoop something out, and guess what was in the middle of that recipe? An egg. An egg. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, you got the prize. <laughs> it's like a boiled egg. Okay, so the boiled eggs in our brownies. So we're going to smash those and mix them. Now, once this is all mixed up, we're going to throw the lid on. We're going to put it in the microwave. Did you hear that? Microwave. Microwave. Yeah. What? That's so gross. Yeah, we're going to put it in the microwave. <laughs> and it's going to take six minutes, y'all. Six minutes. After that, we're going to take some frosting, melt that down, and pour it right on top. So. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm gonna rock your world. Literally, I'm gonna rock your world. Okay. Rock, rock. Now you see why I love them and I travel with them. All right, so let me give you guys some other ideas that you could do with this. With our um, our rock crocs, think of it like a crock pot on steroids. If you wanted to put it in the microwave, okay, you can do a whole chicken in under 30 minutes. Who's ever done a rotisserie chicken? Who's ever done a rotisserie chicken from the heat lamp? Yeah. <laughs> right? yes. okay. So those little birds, I mean, they are little, y'all. Yeah. Like two, two and a half pounds, and you're spending about six bucks. Plus, prepared food tax in our state is 14% because they cooked it for you. So check out what your prepared food tax is. Um, instead, you can, and I'm a thrifty Nikki shopper, so you're going to find me and follow me, and you're going to see my little, my little discounts, right? Like, I love these tags. It's on the Kroger shopper. Um, and I'll grab the whole chickens when they're half off, like 49 cents a pound. And I'll grab those and I'll throw them in my deep freeze. And as I need them, I'll thaw them out. I'll put them in here. Now I'm spending three, three fifty for a five, six pound chicken. You see what I just did? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And what did? What else? I not only saved money, I increased the amount mm -hmm. of food. All right. Now I can make maybe two, three meals from that. And then I'm gonna throw that in here. And what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna wash it. I don't know if I said that earlier with the boneless, skinless chicken breast. We don't give our, our uh, meats baths, okay? It's no spa day in our kitchen. Actually, wetting your meat actually spreads bacteria, so don't go washing it. Heat is the number one source of killing bacteria. So you just gotta get it up to temperature, all right? And then it's all gravy from there. So we have that. You can put some potatoes around it, but anyway, 30 minutes, it is golden brown, swimming in its own broth, right? Touch it with the fork, it just falls mm -hmm. apart right off the bones. Like the prep work is almost done for you. You know what happens if you overcook it? There is one bad side effect. It just falls off the bones. That's it, <laughs> right? So the joy of just, oh, goes away. Cause it just disintegrates, it's amazing. All right, um, ricks, anyone like ricks? Yes. You got your ricks in 20 minutes. Yeah, you heard me. Okay, falling off the bones. Uh, soups, stews, chilies, molten lava cakes in under 10 minutes, like eight to 10 minutes. You can do, um, let me think, what else? I like two by four chili. Actually, I meal prepped that for my family before I came to Chicago, just because it's super simple. You guys ever have two by four chili? No. So what I'll do is I'll take two pounds of meat, uh, ground meat, and then I'll chop that up. <laughs> with this, with this, right? I'll chop that up and then I'll put it in the microwave about 
10 minutes, it's all nice and cooked. Chop it up and then I add two cans of Rotel, so two pounds of meat, two cans of Rotel, uh, two cans of uh, Progresso minestrone soup. I like Progresso, I will name drop on that one, okay? And um, two cans of beans of your choice. Two by four ingredients, that's it. Mix it up, I personally like a little bit of fresh uh, garlic, we'll put it up. Mm. Cool? Mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, simple recipes, simple ingredients, and it's easy on your wallet. Okay, this is where the party gets really hard. You know what I want to do with that? Uh -huh. <laughs> I want to do bad things, bad things. All right. <laughs> so, all mixed up. I'm taking and put it in here. I'm going to put this in for six minutes. <laughs> this is a fancy microwave. Okay. Hello. <laughs> all right. So come over here. This is all nice and hot and preheating. All right. All right. So this just went off. Here's our quick cooker. It has so many different accessories, whether it's a ceramic pot, like you can layer things up as you cook in it. Um, I personally was super excited when they announced it. I stood up in the audience and I was like, tamales! Because it takes me like an hour, hour and a half to make, to steam my tamales. In here, from frozen, they are steamed to perfection in 30 minutes. Okay, so for me that was amazing. But there's 16 preset settings. So you, you just go through here. You see it's been warming for one minute. When we're done, we're just gonna push the button. And if I were to push the button, it will just naturally release the steam. So who gets busy? And you're like, you forget there, there was something on. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it'll do its job even when you're not around. Okay, remember earlier we were talking about crock pots? Mm -hmm. Do you know what else this is? It's a crock pot, all right? It is your slow cooker right here as well. Anyone have a crock pot that gets hot to the touch? Mm -hmm. Completely cool to the touch. Maybe you were making a crock pot meal and you wanted to take it to um, a friend's house for a potluck. Anyone do that? Anyone ever take your crock pot and you like you strap it down, you put it in like a laundry basket with like <laughs> towels? Am I right? Or is that just weird me? Like, okay, because what happens if the lid falls off? Now they have like clamps and everything, but you don't want it to spill. This will not open until you push this and you turn it, all right? So it's completely safe, it has those built-in handles and you can just carry it to your friend's house. All right, so you have all these settings. Another thing that is different compared to the ones on the market, now I'm just really in love with this one. Uh, I'm not very you know, aware of the other ones, but I do have an amazing consultant who has three of them in all different brands, yes? Yes? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, um, most of them do have little levers like right on the side. Who has a pressure cooker at home? Like pressure cooking is not new y'all. It's been out since the 1970s. Yeah, like homemade bombs on the stove top. No make homemade bombs. Um, but most of them have levers on the steam hole where you would have to touch the steam hole to release the steam. Like who wants to do that? No one, that's like putting your hands in an oven and taking it out without gloves. Don't do that, right? So some people will take like spoons or broom handles and try to release it instead. You push the button, you walk away. All right, your hand is nowhere near the seat. Like it's all good. It's gonna release, it's been warming for three minutes. Can you smell it? Imagine if we were to put like fresh garlic in there or you have so many other ingredients, especially fajitas. Anyone want to like Mexican food? Yes. yes. I will knock you out with some slap your mama margaritas and some fajitas in all under 15 minutes. This bad boy. You don't have to slice and dice and cut the chicken or the steak or you don't have to do all that prep time. No one has time for that. Throw all the ingredients in there, take it out, chop it up with our salad choppers. Now I'm giving you a tip on a whole different show and you're just ready to rock and roll, right? So you could do that. Um, you're anything that you like to do, even your ribs are done. That little uh, thermometer, it's gonna pop down, 
and then once it's down, we'll end up opening it up, and then we'll end up smashing it. All right, so I'll let you guys use our mix and master in just a little bit. But this is gonna go on. I'm gonna show you one other tool. Who wants to hand me that um, kitchen spritzer? Kitchen spritzer. Yeah, yeah, thank you. All right, anyone watch their oil intake, their fat intake? Yeah. All right, this is probably one of my favorite tools because have you ever put some oil in a pan and you're like, whoops, that was too much, right? This is gonna help you with that. Or it's gonna pump the lake itself. I mean, use it however you want. <laughs> but there you go. Anyone buy the, the nonstick spray in the can? Yes, you know her name. She has silicone and alcohol in it. Do you know what silicone and alcohol is when it yes. is heated up? Yeah, it's plastic. You know what our cutting boards are made out of? Same material. So anyone have the glass and metal pans at home? Yeah, that yellow residue that like never comes off, yeah. no matter if you overnight soak it and you think the soap fairies are gonna take it off? Ain't happening, right? So it's caked on. That's why you don't even wanna use it on your nonstick. Do you ever have nonstick cookware that has that it's nasty residue and it's like, yeah, like glue, yeah. like peeling glue off? It's so That's gross. So sticky. That's from your nonstick. So instead you can do any kind of oil in here. Okay, I'm gonna say coconut oil, but any other kind of oil right in here, you can infuse it. Anyone ever buy infused oils? Yeah, they're about $14, $15 a bottle. You could take your own garlic, press it, throw it in here, infuse your own oil for pennies, and spray it onto your food. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. That's how I control how much oil I put my food. Like All right, let's turn, the, let's turn up the heat a bit. Okay, so all I'm going to do is put a little seasoning right on here, throw them on here, and then three minutes I'll flip them and then I will let the other side cook. So it starts cooking from the bottom to the top, from the top to the bottom. Rule of thumb, when you guys use, you smell that? Yes. Yeah. It's already done. I know. Um, when you do your proteins, it's a one flip rule. That's it. Don't ever flip more than one time. Cool? Promise me that? Yes. Yeah. So that way you don't uh, babysit your chicken. Just take it, set it, set a timer, walk away, stay in the kitchen. You don't even have time to leave the kitchen because dinner's going to be so fast. It's ridiculous. So that power tool, this power tool, hand me that mix and masher. homemade mashed potatoes mm -hmm. and now would you take your homemade mashed potatoes and just start mashing the potatoes no because no. they feed in what water. water water and if you wanted to drain it you'd be dirty another dish right yes. when you're pressure cooking you are actually maximizing the nutrition value in your vegetables in your protein but you're also doing less work so there is no draining when you use the guidelines because we have a whole cookbook that comes with it when you're doing your potatoes. So the right amount of water and the right amount of um, carbs in here, same as pasta, like who puts boiling water? You put the water on the stove top and you're waiting for it to boil. Yeah, you can make pasta in here. I wanna say it's like six minutes for chicken Parmesan pasta. Hello, six minutes, you guys. Like, I think we have six minutes to spare so we can live a healthy lifestyle, right? Yeah, you're thankful, thank you. You're welcome. All right, but that's it. We're just gonna add some butter and then we will add some fresh garlic and then we'll be done. Cause that's done. We're gonna throw the meat on there and then I'll let you guys play and kind of get a up close look at all these tools. Cool? Yep. And we'll take pictures of this and we'll throw that under the thread. Perfect. All right y'all. <laughs>